All right, thanks for that, Stephen. Well, a massive manhunt is getting more intense with more than 200 members of law enforcement searching for the gunman behind Friday night's deadly mass shooting in Cleveland, Texas. Police say that 38-year-old Francisco Oropesa killed five of his neighbors after being asked to stop firing his weapon in his front yard because the baby was trying to sleep. Authorities say the suspect is armed and considered very dangerous and could be anywhere now more than two days after the attack. Janet Shalian reports from Cold Spring, Texas. The community of Cleveland remembered the five people gunned down with an AR-15 style rifle. Hundreds of deputies and detectives combed the region north of Houston for the man police say went on a deadly rampage inside this home. We do not know where he is. We don't have any tips right now. The attack happened Friday night, the sheriff says, after a neighbor asked the suspect to stop shooting his gun in his yard so an infant inside could fall asleep. He says it's his property. He'll do whatever he pleases on his property. Deputies say the suspect had been drinking before he entered the neighbor's home and started firing. According to the Honduran Foreign Ministry, those killed are Diana Velasquez, Abdulia Molina, Jonathan Cazares, Sonia Guzman, and nine-year-old Daniel Enrique Lasso. All five are from Honduras. Five people died in my county, and that is where my heart is. Wilson Garcia's wife and son were killed in the attack. I don't have words to describe what happened, Garcia says. His wife was on the front porch when she was hit by the gunfire. Two other women were found dead on top of surviving children, apparently shielding them from gunfire. Abdulia Molina's mom said her daughter died protecting the lives of her children. Authorities believe the suspect called a friend for help and are hoping that large reward will encourage someone to call in a tip. Janet Shamley in CBS News, Cold Spring, Texas. The suspect's phone and clothing were found in a wooded area near the scene, but authorities believe that he's long gone from the area.